Wake up! Grandma should put on a little makeup. Did I scare you? Okay, maybe not, but... Uh, today we're going to learn how to do the torso. How to finally get started on modeling our little ninja here. So, what I'm going to show you here is just going to be what's called a proxy model. Or like an approximation. That's what a proxy model is. It's not very detailed. It's just trying to get a rough uh, modeling going on here so that we can get something to show it and so we can get it approved if we're working in a studio. If not, you know, it's always a good idea to start off with low number of polygons or low number of, of segments or divisions before you start going into the details. So that's what we're going to look at here. Okay, so let's get started. I am going to go into the front perspective and I'm going to add a cylinder. So I'm going to create a polygon, go to cylinder and then here is our cylinder on our front viewport. Now if I come down here on my channel box where it says poly cylinder, you have radius, you have height and you have subdivision height. So so you guys can see it better. You can just click on radius, middle mouse click and drag and you can change the how thick this circle is or how big it is and then height of course you have up and down okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to match this to the thickness of his chest so let me make it like that whoa whoa that doesn't look right okay I don't know what that was so what I need to do here I still want to see my reference image I don't wanna you know this is like uh, shaded mode I want to be able to see through it so instead of hitting 4 on my keyboard and getting this I still sort of want to see the the cylinder here so go back to shaded mode by hitting 5 on your keyboard and you go up here this little button it says x-ray so you hit that and now you have x-ray vision so what happens is this button activates the neurons in your brain and it gives you x-ray vision that's what happened you see see boom boom you think it's in Maya but really it's in your eyeball it's in your eyeball okay so let's get started here now like I said this is gonna be very low low poly that's what they call it all these little polygons you know this cylinder has way too many so we need to start off with a low amount of polygons so that we can control and and customize the shape of this and not have to worry about every single vertice because if we had to model this and I had to move a vertice individually these would be way too many so let's go ahead and go back here to cylinder and then subdivision axis we're gonna shrink this down so you see what's happening is we're taking away some of those divisions so let's come in here to the front viewport now this is the reason why I told you to center your your reference image to the center of this plane or the center of your image when we were in Photoshop because when we create this this polygon here it automatically you saw that I didn't even move it I haven't even done this to it it created it right down the center of it so if I go and turn on my grid you can see this black line is the center of my grid and when I created this shape it automatically placed it somewhere down here right on zero zero so all I did was moved it up and now what that does now is when I'm changing this subdivision here I want to make sure that I pick some low number you know not too low so that it's not like you know something like this and I can't really work with it and so that it's not too high so that I don't have too many polygons to work with so pick something like eight maybe six I think that's a little bit actually it's not enough and what I want to do is I also want to make sure that it gives me one of these segments right in the middle of the ninja here or right in the middle of the zero zero uh, y axis okay so I'm gonna increase this to maybe eight you can probably do eight or twelve 
maybe 12 is a little bit too much I'm not sure let me check it out okay that's not bad I'm gonna stick with 12 it might be a little bit too much but it's okay let's start off with this so what I'm gonna start doing now is everything that you saw me do on the first video on the tools for character modeling there is not gonna be any new tools these are the tools that I added onto the shelf this button up here don't worry about it it's I'm not gonna use this so all I need to do now is right click vertex and start moving this and this is a good thing about having a reference image now some of you asked me if it's completely necessary to have a reference image and the answer obviously is no like if you know how to come in here and and model a character without having reference image you know go ahead and do that but I think it's a lot helpful if you have reference image because you can just very quickly sort of trace it out so what I'm gonna do here is again rescale to and just push this in rescale it now remember we're only rescaling on the side viewport not on the front so go to the front and the trick for this is try not to move this away from the zero this center line the trick is to try not to move that alright that's the object of the game don't move that so by rescaling that little vertex in this segment stay perfectly there perfectly still I mean so something like that and then of course I'm gonna go into my object mode insert edge loop and then add some more maybe there like go back to that too uh, another one maybe right here no, no, under his arm so under his armpit one right in between let me double click on that so it goes all the way around maybe at this right in between his arm so this would be like his arm is gonna continue going out this way so add one in between there and then one right at the bottom so that we can from here on up we can extrude and create the arm and then here you can see the side of his chest here now I'm gonna pay attention mostly to the right side because you know I'm gonna model the or his left arm or screen right okay so I'm gonna pay attention mostly from here on to the right so like that and then from here maybe one right here and then again let's go in here vertex and start matching this up so this guy shrink it match it up and actually I'm gonna add one more right should I nah okay let's keep it simple keep it simple now let's go to the side viewport now check out the side we haven't even matched this side so okay make sure you're always working with both views not just one this guy if you push it back now on the side viewport it doesn't matter if we move it this way because remember if I move the side forward and back it doesn't affect this line in the center okay so the trick is try to move everything together don't grab one of these and then you know move it away over here and then grab another one over here and push it up okay so only when you're starting off like right now that we're doing I'll push this out there uh, this one I'm gonna push it out some more a little bit in and then forward this guy needs to come in a lot more and forward and s that one's pretty good and then this guy this guy let's see here um, okay that's not pretty bad but hmm okay let's leave that like it is but I need to shrink it a lot 
like so push that back push this back I'm gonna push this back some more like so and then this guy a little bit further back so something like that go back to object mode and let's take a look and what we have here now what I'm gonna do now is I don't need these uh, these polygons up here so I'm gonna do that trick I showed you select the top so what this what that did was it selected the top and the side and now these select these so now I just have the top selected hit delete same thing with the bottom select both of them deselect the middle one and now we have the bottom selected delete okay right click go to object mode boom so this is kind of looking sort of like a like the torso of this guy here so I'm gonna bring this in a little more I'm not gonna worry too much about the detail of his vest yet I'm just gonna try and get the basic shape of him right now scale this in maybe a little more and now what I'm gonna start to do is using the edge go to edge double click on this top ring here and I can just start extruding and add more geometry here so I can just pop that up and then come in here and start working with it so bring this in something like so go to the side viewport bring this in you know I'm pretty much just winging it here there's no really you know set in stone rule of how to model a character just as long as you match your reference image or you know it's looking pretty accurate to what you have in mind you know that'll work just fine okay now that I have this pretty much laid out now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to match the lines these segments here to the contour of his body so that's gonna help me with you know modeling later on so maybe something like that once we get into like uh, details this this type of of topology or the topology is how these lines follow the shape of your object is going to help me out when I go in and I add detail because I'm not going to have to come in here and and change the shape of it because it's already matching pretty good so actually maybe for the top I'm going to go the other way I'm going to go this way so just start moving everything this guy I'm gonna move this guy maybe down like so scale it in and then this I'll see if I can do it this way so it's starting to take shape of something right it's looking more like the his torso here so we still got to work on it. So go to the side viewport. And I'm gonna maybe add one more ring around here, and then shrink this in just a little bit, like so. And then this one, I'm gonna shrink it in a little bit, like so. So I'm pretty happy with that. Now don't worry about this. I'm gonna worry about this a little later so what I can do here is now delete some of these faces where the arm is gonna come out so maybe these four here okay go to object okay go back to the side and sort of bring this and shape it into like a circle So that's where the arm is going to come out so something like that now we don't have to worry about this side yet because I'm going to show you this cool little trick where you don't have to worry about the other side all you have to do is worry about one side that's the reason why we need this to be in the smack dead center okay so right click go to face I'm going to delete this whole section of it okay 
and now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna try to wrap this up so that I don't spend too much time on videos you know I don't want to make like every video an hour like I used to so I'm gonna make this fairly quick here I'm gonna go into edit and then I'm, we're gonna duplicate this but we're gonna duplicate it into something a little unique so go to duplicate special and then click on this option box and then I'm gonna reset the settings so that we have the exact same settings that you guys have uh, we have the same stuff here so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this I'm gonna make a copy and then I'm gonna flip it but it's not gonna be a copy because if we make a copy uh, if I move something say for example on this side like this it won't move on the other side so what I want to do is I want to be able to move this and then whatever I do here it does it automatically to the other side so make sure you go to object mode and then this is the one instead of copying I'm not gonna copy I'm gonna make an instance that's what an instance does it takes this and it makes an instance kinda like a copy but not really and then what you do to this side it automatically does it to the other side so let's go ahead and I'm gonna scale this so for example if I if I were to take the copy and then scale it in the X in the negative it's gonna bring it out to the other side but it's just gonna flip it so what I need to do is go to scale X. I'm gonna make this into a negative so that the copy when I create it it flips it like I showed you right now okay so I'll go back to the front so you guys can see what I'm talking about and then let me try it out see if this works how I planned it so instance scale this first box is X Y and Z so it makes sense that it's in the first box and then hit duplicate special and now what happens is now I have see what what it did it made a copy of it now it's not attached you can see here I can split them apart but now watch this if I wasn't happy with you know the way I created this circle I can come in here to one of these vertices and then I can move it and then it moves on this side watch check it out you see so all I have to do is worry about one section and then the other one will take care of itself so that's pretty neat and that's gonna be pretty much it for this tutorial and the rest of it I'm gonna show you how to do the uh, the legs and the torso I mean the his pelvis the leg and the foot in the next tutorial alright so keep it simple you know keep on modeling follow me on Facebook Facebook dot com forward slash uh, animation methods and I'll catch you on the next video